Indigen warns against exclusive occupation of Igbos in Hyra areas in Kano. Kano based scholar Dr. Abala Gadon Kaya on Tuesday raised concern over a Hyra situation residential area occupied excess, exclusively by Igbos in the state. He noted such allowance creates a vacuum for disunity between the Igbos and their hosts. Um, you see, see, see such, see such writing Igbos and their hosts. This shows us how divided we are. I um, mean, a video obtained and translated by Arawa Agenda, the scholar noted that the community exclusively copied, exclusively occupied by the Igbos, is located in, um, Zungeri Road behind Kano Airport. He said they have their massive gates, security, and other facilities that prevent other people, especially indigenous, from accessing. Huh? Government should not allow such to be happening even when, you know, we can't go to Onicha about Enugu and create an exclusive place for Northerners or Muslims like that. What? Dr. Abadala, Abdallah called on the state government to promote policies that will harmonize the household and Nibus in the area and bring about peaceful coexistence. I'm so, so should they be partying together? I'm so confused. We should not have ex such exclusive places. Government should ensure that there are mosques there. Wow. And Kano indigenous should be given access to build houses in such Hybra area, he said. Also, as a political commentator and secretary of our youth council, Belushe, who said, it is dangerous, especially when some ethnic, some ethnic groups, if you don't, <laughs> are clamoring for separation from the rest of the country to now allow one tribe to exclusively occupy uh, and highbrow. I think what is even, sh I mean, if you've seen this meme of Unke Momo saying, if you want to talk to me, talk to me, stop cutting through the corners. What do you mean by some ethnic groups? Please. <laughs> even though Arab people are denied such privileges ooh, of owning businesses, of business premises and estates in Igbo land, um, we need to mix up to promote national unity, tolerance and brotherhood. That way, we can appreciate each other more and live peacefully together. So, if you do not have access to what other people have access to, you're jealous. And that jealousy in you breeds disunity. Don't make it seem like a... I mean, how, this, is just an, it, it, this is just so embarrassing. I mean, this is an absolute case of people minding their business peacefully. And because you're not part of that, you are getting jealous and you're using the fact that, okay, fine, this is your land. So, you're trying to tell me that they aren't rich. I mean, they, you have to have a billionaire, first of all. And second, it's just like, well, well, what do you mean? Because it's like you're saying that Eagles do not, I mean, um, Fulanis or Houses do not have big businesses in the, in the southern part of the country. And again, it's like, even if they're living in your country, in your state, what, if they're making so much money, then they are probably getting taxed heavily and, and funds are probably going to your state for even being there in the first place due to their businesses. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that we have a progressive tax, tax system where the more you earn, the more you're taxed. And, you know, that would probably be the case there, you know. Again, it's not a thing of an exclusive. I mean, if it's majority Igbos that are there, how do you think, why would you think it's exclusive? Why can't, I don't, I don't understand you're calling on the government, well, maybe somebody should, you know, go buy a house or buy property in that same area if you want to live there. Don't make it seem like as if the Igbos purposely came to your land, decided this is an exclusive section for us to live in. I mean, because this is just so petty, because again, because we have not sorted out our our issues, um, it's very much obvious that, it's very much obvious that anything, any little thing that each tribe does there's going to be like petty comments and petty, you know, any, any, they're going to start micromanaging each other and be like, oh, you did this, you did this. Every little thing would aggravate each side, which is just pointless, to be honest. Um, but also a security analyst who would not like to mention states that those from cannot be allowed. What would be allowed? Who owns the land? Well, I'm so confused. Allowing this to control will create another Igbo land within can oh come on and this is no good for security reasons otherwise anything can happen especially ipob's agitation by an african for biafra republic and other secessionists so all Igbos are biafra i mean all Igbos are part of ipob like does this make sense once as a crisis for example such place can become a direct target but with coexistence it'll be difficult difficult to target one tribe hmm i don't trust this I really don't trust this. 
this seems the tone of this is very bitter it's very much like how can it set of egos be in our land and are living better than us let me translate let, i mean let's just translate it at this point this is I mean, i've never seen such a bitter article before i mean this is so wrapped in jealousy that you now have to call on the government you know that you can also buy a house if you want to and if the owner of the land is not allowing people to go there i mean to be honest i don't even think by law it should exclude people from buying land because of their ethnic group that's a whole different story but i'm i'm i mean they haven't even given details on who actually owns the land because they make it seem like as if for example if there's this specific estate with a specific standard of living that is occupied by egos and northerners are not there but then again if you want to live there go buy a house there buy a property there or just be around that vicinity if you want to be part of the group i mean it's really not a must like it's really really not a must and for security reasons because they all clamor together i mean isn't that how it's meant to be because of how unsafe it could be why can't they be together because it seems like as if for every little thing you want to infiltrate their space and to be honest for this it's even more unlikely or highly unlikely that you'd be accepted um to you'd be accepted for this i mean i, I don't understand what i'm so like as if because this person noted with well, the kind of base scholar noted that as uh, such allowance creates a vacuum for uh disunity between the Igbos and their hosts but the disunity is already there i don't think i, I mean i don't think anything i think because the disunity is there any little thing that Igbos have now done or just their existence alone would be something that aggravates um some flannies or some houses who are not maybe okay with them um and then i'm not even saying that is one side so it could be I mean, again reciprocated on the other side with egos as well i'm just saying that it's it's just so petty and very jealous like it really does it's not a, it's not a good look it really is not a good look i mean it i'm gonna repeat it it is not a good look this just sounds very bitter very much like i can't afford this but i want to be there by force by fire like honestly honestly and it's like what do you mean so you're saying that um northerners do not have amazing houses or they do not live in high-end um places in 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 the south because these are all these are all business people at the end of the day and if it's again with eagles i don't listen it's high that they're all rich i mean listen you can't in a situation like that you can't really suspect who owns this or that you i'm telling you those eagles there most likely are they bought that outright they own it and it is in their name the owner of the whole place, as like let's say, let's say the whole estate, may probably be Igbo. But then again, it's like, listen, I don't. How do you even talk about this? This is just so petty. Again, if you want to live there, go and buy a house there. That's just what it is. Put what you think about this, and don't forget to like and subscribe.